a pond's lime content greatly determines uh, the effectiveness of a fertilization program. Ponds that are located in uh, the Black Belt region of Alabama or ponds that have a significant amount of limestone in the watershed uh, may never need a lime application. But most of the state has fairly acidic soil in the watershed and ponds located uh, in this acidic soil may not respond well to a fertilization program or may not respond at all without lime being applied periodically. Basically crushed agricultural limestone needs to be spread across the entire bottom of the pond. If you find that it's difficult to maintain a phytoplankton bloom during the growing season, you might need lime. But the, the, the best way to determine if you need lime or not is to take a test. You can do a soil test just like you would uh, a field or a food plot or a garden. Um, you can also have your water tested. To have a soil test done, you need to collect a sample. Make sure and collect mud from several different areas throughout the bottom of the pond. Mix this mud together in a bucket and then pour it out on a piece of plywood or a piece of plastic to let it dry. Once it's good and dry, then you can gather it up and put it in a box and send it to Auburn University, their soil testing lab. One of these boxes can be obtained from your cooperative extension office in your county. They'll give you a box and you can put it in there and send it off. The soil lab will send back an analysis of, uh, of, the, of the mud sample. And when you get this analysis back, feel free to contact your district fisheries office and speak with a biologist. They can help you interpret this analysis and determine how much lime you need to apply. Another way to determine if your pond needs lime is to have a fisheries biologist check the water alkalinity. Basically all you got to do is take a drinking water bottle and flush it several times with the pond water and then fill it up all the way full with the pond water and cap it off and deliver it to your district fisheries office. Try to do this within a day or two after you collect the water. If you'd like to monitor the water alkalinity yourself, then you can get an uh, alkalinity testing kit. Give us a call and we'll tell you how to get one of these kits and talk to you about it.